floor of the CME Group on Tuesday, June 14th with the Mr. Top Step Update. Top Notch Trading here, my name is Tim Efke. Well, these markets are under a heavy dose of uh, fundamental influence ever since last week's ADP and employment data coming out. And so that's what's led the surge lower. I guess it's a surge, but a move lower down in the S&P index along with the NASDAQ futures. Right now, the, that this flight to quality that Mr. Riley was talking about, I'm not sure there's any quality to flight to, to be honest with you, with these treasury indexes, because these treasury indexes continue to flip-flop, so to speak. One week they look good, the next week they look bad. So they come up, they can't even test last week's high, and now they look like they're on their way to test last week's low. Bingo, they have. They've made new lows from last week, 124.10, 124.07, and I'm talking about the 30-year bond, ladies and gentlemen. Key support right now is at 124.02 and 123.24 objectives for today. Only a bit above 124.20 will these uh, the bonds get some legs today. Other than that, now let's go and talk about the S&P. Ever since I came out and saw that inverted head and shoulders that spiked up when Bin Laden was killed and all that good stuff that it just took off. And the S&P found an upside FIB objective of 1382, of the plus 1382. That objective was met from the year low. So if you can take the year low and go on your own, on your own computers and, and do your own research, you take the year low with that high that was giving us our last leg of the head and shoulders and the flip-flop, it gave us an upside objective of 1366.70. Well, since this objective was made, in the E-mini now I'm looking at, the reversal on this whole move lower in this S&P says it will be the negative 382 from the year low. That price comes in at 1201.70 on the mini and 1205.80 on the big one. So ladies and gentlemen, this correction is gonna continue. Top Notch says on a Mr. Fibonacci idea, we're going down on the next move to find a low of 1201 half to 1205.70, somewhere in that area, that's where the stop should be, because right now this is a relief rally that we're seeing today, and I suspect that we could see good resistance today from at 1285 to 1287 level, and that's where you can let them have it. Have a good day, we'll be back with next week's update.